Hi, I am Shreed Adega with Sunit and in this video, I am going to show you how to add a spin wheel pop-up in your store to gain new subscribers, to offer a discount and to gain more sales. So if you like my video, make sure to subscribe and if you have any questions, you can ask them in the comment section. So let's start with the app. I am already logged in in the Shopify store. So I will just go ahead to the apps, apps and sales channel settings, Shopify app store. Let's search for Ecom Send, okay? Because this is the name of the app that we are going to use. Mostly, Spin Wheel Power Apps are paid, but this one is a free app and it has the complete functionality, so no need to use the paid one. Let's open it. Add app. Install. So we install the app. Let's complete the setup. Enable app M. So in Shopify 2.0 thing, we have to do this step. So it is already pre-selected enabled because we opened it from the app. So let's just save it to make sure that it is working. Let's go back. Now enable app M is done. So let's create the pop-up. So now they are seeing which pop-up we want to create. So our main target is spin wheel pop-up. So we will select this option, create pop-up. Now we can make all the changes we want. So these are the values we have. If you want to change these values, you can just add it. I like do it 5% off. You can also add the chances. So like this discount has the chances of coming up like 40% chance. We do this to make sure that not every customer can get 20% or 30% coupon, but still some do get those. So we're going to set chances here. We will leave it 40%. We can also change the discount value. We can also set an expiration time for the discount, but we don't want to do that. So let's leave it. Then save it. And then let's close it. We have it changed. We can also choose to show discount bar or we can just leave it as don't show. I will leave it as don't show. Sidebar widget, let's show it so that it is always here. And when customers want to use it, they can just open it from here. We can also change its location. We can also choose where to show them and where to not. I will show it in all devices. Now show on a timer. So we don't want to throw this power at them right after they enter the store. We do want to wait a little so that they can have the first impression of the store by seeing our landing page. So let's set it to 10 seconds so that if the customer stays for 10 seconds, he can see this pop up. Now let's uh, lower the frequency so that they don't see it every time they enter. They will still see this one, but they won't see the power of time. So let's set uh, one time a day, or let's just leave it two times a day. It's your choice. Show on any pages, show in any country, show for all time. You can also schedule or change conditions for these, but I will leave them as they are. We can also change the content, sprint to win, enter your email for the chance to win a discount. Now, the information that we want to get can be never leave. So we will use their email address. We don't need their name. Primary button, secondary button. Let's see what this button do. Okay, no thanks. And claim discount. We will leave those buttons as activated. Then we have this text, this one. We can change any text. This one is the success status, okay? So if they succeed, this will be the page that will show up. This will have their discount code. They can copy it from here. Then we have sticky discount bar. If we want to use it, we can add it from here. But I have disabled it, so I won't check it at all. Okay, so these are all that we want to set for the content. Now we have style. We can add our logo. I don't actually have a logo to add, but I can still show it to you by adding a random logo. So let's add this one. For myself, it will appear here, okay? So you can add your logo if you want. Then we can also show an image. We can change the color scheme from here. So this is the background one. If we change it, like change this here, you can see that it has changed. You can set the colors to match with your color scheme. Then we have background three. We can change it like this. Then we have background two and four. If you want, you can change those. If you want, you can leave them as they are. Then we have error input. We have button text. The secondary button is blue right now. I don't want to do that. I will show it as 
red okay so this is all that we have to do for the settings now let's save it now let's preview this pop-up now let's wait for the 10 seconds and ta-da here is our pop-up if we sign up with an email like sign up this one claim discount and ta-da i got five percent off because it had 40 percent chance to succeed now this is my coupon code i can use this one to claim my five percent off so that was all let me know if you have any questions and i will reply them as soon as i can thanks